Hello guys and girls, this is another episode of Coffee Break by ClimbingAlbus.com. So, got some really great comments from the previous episode and it really gave me um, some food for thought on the next topic and, you know, topics for the future. So keep those comments rolling in on either this video and comment on the topic in this video or even comment on what you might want to see um, on future episodes of Coffee Break. So, previous uh, comments that I've had um, just throughout, you know, other videos on Climbing Arborist and from the Coffee Break uh, previous episode, there's a, there's a theme that comes up about new climbers and what equipment they should buy. But more importantly, like, you know, the fancy equipment. And so I, I wanted to touch on um, on new climbers, somebody very new into the industry, what they should buy. But, but more importantly, like, this is about kind of ignoring all that social media kind of stuff, ignoring all the fancy, flashy gadgets that are out there that you're going to see... Uh, just posted all over social media because the thing is when new shiny equipment comes out everybody posts about it because it looks cool it, it makes for a good photograph um, people with new equipment want to show off their new equipment so it's you know it it goes without saying that you're going to see it all over social media but that can be quite um, distracting and leads lead somebody who's not that experienced kind of down the wrong path thinking oh all these arborists, all these great arborists have fancy new gear. And, you know, if I want to be a great arborist, I've got to have the latest thing, the rope runner, uh, the akimbo, the zigzag, chicane. Um, and it, even when it comes down to, you know, other pieces of, of equipment like the the captain hook or pulley saver, the new Petzl eject, all these kind of things... Um, they're really, when if you actually if you actually sit down and think about it, it's it's not necessary for a new climber. So, I w my personal opinion and suggestions. If you're a new climber, you know, you, say you're less than a year in, or you know, maybe you're two years in, but you don't get to climb that often, so you're still very new to it. Don't have that much experience. It's all about you know, learning the fundamental techniques. And that might not be, you might not think that's very glamorous. You might not think that, you know, just using basic setup is is glamorous and you, you can't post it all over social media. You can't tell your mates that you've got the, you know, a rope runner or something. But it's that's how you develop the skills. And as a new climber, you don't, oh, well, most, most of us, as new climbers don't have money to throw around. We, we don't have like hundreds of dollars to be spending on a rope runner or, you know, hundreds of dollars to be spending on an akimbo when you don't actually know if, you, if you're going to be able to use it efficiently. And like as a new climber, those kind of devices, the they'll be, they'll feel very jerky and it, it won't run smoothly. Like, so my advice would be, get a simple setup like you know a hitch climber pulley some good hitch cord um i think it's really important to learn st uh, stationary rope technique from from the get-go now so a rope wrench is is pretty much the cheapest way you can go to be climbing stationary rope technique um you know have spend your money on one decent rope that will do an all-round you know, all around climbing, um, good lanyard setup, but it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to be going out and buying the the ART positioner or or anything like that. It can be you know a simple micro pulley and some friction cord, um, just a nice a nice lanyard setup. So uh, I think really important would be to have like a good foot ascender, something like you know. Petzl Pantin or the CT, um, so good foot sender, hitch climber pulley and hitch cord setup. Because as a new climber, you don't want to rely on. Say you have a zigzag, that means you're never tying 
a hitch. Whereas if you're using a hitch climber, hitch cord, you're tying VT or XT or distal or you're kind of mixing it up and and you're getting that feeling of like what hitch cords work and what hitch cords, you know, like feel a bit stiff and a bit jerky and... Um, so you, you gain in all these different types of experience from using the hitch cord. And then when it comes to setting up like a, a mechanical advantage on the fly, you've got the ability to, you know, tie prussics and tie different hitches and all that kind of stuff. So not relying on the mechanical stuff. The mechanical stuff for me is great because, you know, it, there's that slight bit of efficiency there you know the zigzag tends nicely and it feels like a hitch but i've gone through years and years and years of tying hitches using the pulleys and i've eventually got to a zigzag where i can i can see the benefit but i think as a a new climber you're not really going to see or feel the difference that and the benefits because you're going to be pretty inefficient as a climber anyway. And so that minute efficiency gain that you get from like a zigzag, it's not going to make any difference to your climbing. So focus your energy on, you know, if you really want to be a climber and you and you feel like that's your passion, that's something that you want to be really good at, go out and take spend the time in trees in your own time learning and getting as much information because like i say it might not be the glamorous side of of tree work um, but learning those fundamental skills using quite basic equipment is really where you're gonna like elevate big time you're gonna you're gonna grow your skills you know exponentially with putting in that effort um, learning from colleagues and it's not going to be by buying a, an akimbo or it's not going to be by using a pulley saver as opposed to a ring and ring friction saver um, so so don't focus on the social media kind of stuff that gets posted out there and the youtube videos that you see you know wailing all this like new shiny gear and because that's you know that's a facade that people like to portray that people like to put on and it's that's what social media is and that's what you know youtube is and it's people showing their best self people showing what they think that everybody else wants to see um people showing showing off new equipment before it's been used not like because it's you know it's fun everybody likes to see that kind of stuff but that's not going to help you go from, you know, a real beginner level climber to the next stage. Um, it, that's not going to, that's not going to help things. So, you know, my, my bit of advice is just stay simple, keep it, you know, try and separate yourself from all that social media noise when it comes to, shiny new toys and don't feel like you need to have the latest equipment and i'm not saying that i don't think it's beneficial i i definitely think when you get to a certain standard using those bits of equipment there is a real time and a place and you'll find them more helpful more efficient but you need to know how to use them well in order for them to be useful um and it's like so take for example you have Scott Forrest who's you know multiple time world champion tree climber um won the Red Bull tree climbing competition all that kind of stuff and he'll climb on the zigzag moving rope system but if he were to climb on a Blake's hitch or Prusik loop using a ring and ring friction saver no foot ascender no nothing he would be better than 99.9% .9 of people still with with that old school equipment you know using the most basic of harnesses and just not using any of like the latest technology in tree climbing equipment he would still be better than nearly everybody on the planet when it comes to tree climbing and moving around the tree being efficient at it so 
you know, someone like Scott, who's got lots of experience, he'll use the equipment that makes it most beneficial for his body, for his joints, to make it last longer, to, to make, you know, his career last longer, to make it easy for him, to make, like, everything like that. But what I'm saying is he's got the those skills already. Those skills aren't because he's climbing on a zigzag. He doesn't become like this insane world-class tree climber because he's climbing on a zigzag. He is a world-class tree climber and he's just using these bits of equipment that he likes to use the best. And, you know, so just think as a new climber, use, learn what you can from everybody around you don't spend all your money on this equipment because you might realize once you get good enough, actually, I don't like using the rope runner or the akimbo. And I've spent, you know, four or $500 on this bit of equipment when I could have bought a bunch of hitch cord, um, rope range, you know, a new rope, a new lanyard, all I could have kitted myself out and been just as good like without that one shiny piece of gear so just yeah that's pretty much my point just focus on learning new skills being super interested and just going out on your own time learning and eventually once you start earning more money as you become more experienced you can start experimenting with new pieces of gear and you'll you will see the benefit after a few years down the line but nobody within their first one or two years is going to notice a difference between using a zigzag rope runner um you know you're not not going to be familiar and have the skills to be using like the captain hook to do traverses and all that kind of stuff just stay simple learn your, your basic knots learn your hitches and you know and good luck and you know, put in the effort and you'll be an awesome climber. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments. As I say, leave your comments below and leave some comments on future Coffee Break videos that you want to learn. And um, thank you again for tuning in. Bye for now.